blown flies an interesting veneer on the top of what I would normally class as a projectile physics-based platform puzzler. <laughs> That's an awful lot of words, but you'll understand what I mean as I go into the detail of this. You play as a blowfish who is trying to blow water out of their mouth to projectile themselves from platform to platform around various different levels. The idea of this is that you've got to try and get yourself back into the toilet bowl. <laughs> and I like the veneer over the top of it, but very quickly you'll kind of bleed past that and you'll be looking purely at this game from a projectile environment. And that's where all of the gameplay comes in. Most levels are at maximum a few screens long and the controls are very simple. Your blowfish can roll around and you can do that with the left analog stick. And what you'll be doing is lining up your tail fin with where you want yourself to go. Because obviously you're blowing uh, water out of your mouth, not your ass, <laughs> for want of a better phrase. And so you're going to be flying off in that direction. And what it means is that wherever that tail fin is going is going to be where you're blasting off to. So initially it'll be like getting over some spikes or maybe there, like, there's a level early on called pole vault where you'll get over certain like um, increasingly taller uh, clumps of rock. But then after a while it'll start to get more and more complicated and it'll ask you to roll down slopes and then choose the exact moment of where you want to blast off. So you'll need to line up the actual where your tail is going to go so that you get the right projectile. And it feels almost like throwing javelins but in a rolling ball style environment is how I would equate blow and f uh, fly too. Over time though, the levels do get slightly more complicated. So instead of it just being bouncing around from platform to platform, it then starts to add things like bounce pads, um, which act almost like trampolines because the higher that you blast down from and with the more force, the higher you'll go. And that will get you much further than say a blast of water ever would. Then you start to get keys that will unlock specific areas for you to then be able to blast through. It could be that you've got to roll off the edge and then point and angle yourself into certain areas so that you can blast off at the right time and get through gaps in walls. And it can be as well that you need to, say, bounce yourself almost like a pinball sometimes around 45 degree angles of walls so that you can kind of bounce up, which will then hit you to the left and then you'll hit the left 45 degree angle that will bounce you back down again, that kind of thing. And it all kind of falls together relatively nicely. Uh, one of the best things that comes out later on in the game is that you start to get um, gravity switches. And that then obviously means that you've got to play in gravity into the fault of rolling around and making sure that you don't roll up into spikes on the ceiling, for example. The other thing that you do get in this game are mini games, but they're hidden. And I have to say, actually, these were some of my favourite moments of playing Blow and Fly because they're hidden either in weird corridors that you might accidentally blast into when you're trying to get to an exit and you miss, or occasionally they're like between two spike pits and then you kind of think, oh, I'm going in there for a safe space and then I'll kind of do the next jump over and you'll just fall through the floor and you're like, oh. <laughs> and what this does is it implements like mini games uh, like blowfish football, for example, trying to blow the fish through uh, a net and basket to score points and you need to get like five in a row to win without falling into like the pit underneath. There's other ones where you blast up into the sky and the stars and it's just like a little interesting side nugget. And it just uses the physics in a slightly different way to what you're used to throughout the rest of the game and it just offers a nice little bit of light relief. But they're all optional and you don't need to partake in them if you don't want to. But the fun is trying to find them. There's over 70 levels in total. You only really need to complete about the first 30, I think it was, for the Platinum. So it's really, really simple. Um, cross by a PS4, PS5. And whilst the veneer kind of makes up for some of the quite basic gameplay, it does feel quite basic in the way how it builds stuff up over time and it doesn't really offer itself out to do anything new. The toilet bowl that you dive into has a par meter, but it doesn't really offer anything into the gameplay. It's entirely up to you whether you want to go ahead with chasing par or not. I personally didn't. I was just happy at getting to the end of the levels and continuing on. And the only other criticism I'd have about this game is that occasionally it felt like I was doing the same thing twice in a row and getting slightly different results. And this was because visually it looks as if my tail fin was in the same direction as it was before, but probably in actual degrees of angularity, that's even a word, I probably wasn't. If you're looking for 
a casual introduction to like the lighter end of puzzle platformers that are physics based glow and fly might be worth it for you especially as it's quite cheap Brain reviews over on highplanegames.com any comments or questions leave them down below interesting one this but not a entire like wholehearted recommendation take care Higher Plane Games is part of the Higher Plane Network, a completely independent media outlet supported by people like you. The goal is to create the best possible content that cultivates a richer indie scene for games as well as music and entertainment. To find out more and to get involved, visit patreon.com forward slash higher plane network. Your support makes all the difference, and in return you'll gain access to bonus content and downloads. Thank you for watching.